Okay, we have here 30 theater, 30 theater tickets, and that's like actually a tongue twister. So 30 tickets. 20 tickets for between $10 and $30. And then there are 10 tickets that were sold between 40 and 60. And what they want to know is what's the average of these prices of these tickets. There's quantity A, there's quantity B, and then of course quantity B is fixed, 50. So your initial connotation is, may, is maybe to think, oh, it's D because we don't know. We don't really know what A can be because we have this fluctuation. But remember, we're trying to compare it to B. If this fluctuation, let's just say it's $20, depending on which side of the, the spectrum you plug in, but let's say it can range from $20 to $40, just because it has that fluctuation doesn't mean it's D. It's clearly less than B. So how do we find this actual fluctuation? Well, we take the extremes. 20 tickets, let's say they all sold at $30. Again, we want to make it as high as possible to see if we can get an average that's greater than 50. So we do 30 times 20. That gives us 600. Same thing here. Let's assume they all sold for 60. All 10 of these, another 600. Add them together. That is 1,200. There are 30 tickets. You divide 1,200 by 30, you get 40. So even at the extreme end, there it is, 40, you can see that it's not as great as 50. Therefore, the answer is B.